hello and welcome back in this video we are going to continue from where we left and we left the video at a point where we created these four functions that is create record update record read record and delete record uh, then we said that for this ussd application to work everything that we have put inside this function that we are calling up in it must be called and then uh, we commented this to justify but I need to uncomment it so that now when the code is running and it gets here it's going to call uh, this function called up in it which means that it's going to start the application and from there now we can go to the next steps and the next step is to create the dialog that comes first on our mobile phone screen when we have not entered any data and this means that it's a first request and we are going to change this before we are using my account but now we are going to have four options and the first one will be create account the second one will be record the third one will be read record the fourth one will be delete record like that eh? so when we start the application we are going to get a menu asking what would you like to do what do you like to do then you are going to enter one for create account two for update record three for read record four for delete record if we enter one for create record which is here we are going to call the function and to call the function we need to have a variable here let account i'm going to call it account you can give it the name that you think uh you will understand as by your project but for mine i'm going to call it account then here we are going to say account equals and then we are going to to refer to this account equals create record what this does is that it's going to call this create record account equals create record something like that we are not going to have this response here so I'm going to cut this. We are going to return this response. And uh, this is going to be an end. An end of this action. After the record is created, we don't expect to do something else. So we are going to end and say account created successfully. So what is happening here is that uh, when we put a one here, it comes to this else if text equals one, uh, but one refers it to a function called create record. So it comes to create record. And since this is a, is a variable, whatever is in that is going to be returned here. And this is where now we start interacting with our Firebase here we are going to add a new record record in our database remember we defined our database up here let me see whether we did that we said const db equals firebase not firebix but firebase firebase dot firestore db uh, before I go here, we need to come to our Firestore database and see that we have a record or a collection. This is a collection called USSD and a document with this document ID. So we want to create another document here and we are going to have an additional field here. If I may close this, 
we are going to create another document here and another record here and this one you can do as many times as the program allows which means when somebody registered they are going to be doing that so db dot he said collection and this collection is called ussd remember that's what we we did in firebase uh, if you want to do something like adding you'd put dot add method let's format it in a better way by putting it here add and when you add you're supposed to put the data that you are supposed to add here and we are going to add first first name uh, last name the other one is mobile we are just going to have four records and the other one is amount which is the account balance if you assume this is a, a record from the customers and maybe we can give this uh, Francis I'm going to recreate a record with my name Kagai this is not my mobile number it's just an imaginary number oh seven nine zero 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 two eight zero then uh, I'm going to put don't worry about the the errors you're going to correct them in a short while a new account should ha always have a zero balance and these are always separated by a comma 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 remember when we started this course we talked about json and that's what json is and when this when a record is added it's not going to happen auto instantly that you do something and instantly it happens it's going to take some seconds or milliseconds before this happens so it is going to give us a promise a, a promise has three states the first one is the action has started and the other two states is either the action has been successful or the action has failed this is the part where the action has started but for us to take into account what happens then so we have to, go to use then and we are going to return the document reference so that is the document id and then uh, after that we are going to have we are going to have this so dot then what happens then if it uh, the record is created we can console we'll see this in our firebase log logs eh? console log so we can say account created with id and this id is identified with this id is identified by this doc ref dot id so this is the id of the account that has been created so we are going to get this the promise can also return an error so an error we catch it so catch it has to be always be a dot catch dot catch dot then dot catch then um same thing but this case we are going to get an error and after that we are going to console dot log and we're going to say it's error and then we're going to state what kind of an error here what is happening here is that we are going to the database uh, shift alt f to format uh, we are going to the database and looking and we look for a collection known as ussd in that collection we add francis kagai 
mobile number and balance of zero after we have added this we go we, we, it means this is a successful then we are going to log this data and the data that we can get from this we can still get this data but for now we are interested in the document the ID of the document that we have created in case we get an error we are going to, to log this error we are going to see what kind of error are we are we getting the ideal way would have for us to put this in a response instead of console log we would have put response equals error or document ID that is showing on our mobile phone but as you can see this is a process that takes some time so our code is going to finish before we get this result and we are going to get an empty field on our screen we will not be able to get this message back on our phone that is how we create a record in Firebase another way would be for us to collect the, this data from our screen whereby you enter your name you enter first name last name mobile number and amount it's also another way of doing it but since this is just for me to demonstrate to you on how it works we are not developing a real-time program uh, I will leave for you to find out how you can send data from your USSD application to Firebase based on the data that you enter on your screen. This is just for the basic understanding of how it works. Adding data through your USSD screen is, is an advanced lesson in this particular course. So I'm going to leave it to you to investigate and research further. Either way, you cannot learn if you don't research. Before we can continue, we will need to close your Visual Studio code and open, go to start, look for where it is, right click on it and look for the option where you're supposed to run Visual Studio code as administrator. So run as administrator. There are two things you need to do here. First of all, you'll find that your code has response like this but you need to return it you need to return it to the main function this get this create function record is not a main function the main function is up in it so we need to return it here so we are going to return that value here the value of response so that we can it can displayed on our screen the next thing you need to do is of course cd ussd to enter our project then uh, you need to type get execution policy unrestricted if your policy is not unrestricted you need to put to type set execution policy to unrestricted so make sure you have unrestricted policy so that you are able to oper to run this code on your computer okay i'm in i'm in desktop as you can see i'm in desktop so cd ussd enter and then i can uh, deploy my application and it's going to take some time uh, so it's not logged on firebase login let's log in uh, yes allow me to log into the system so allow node.js to log in uh, it's opening where i have not logged in so i'm going to log in I've logged in so I'm going to allow and just like that I'm now logged in before we can deploy our application uh, just make sure that here you are returning a string before I had written response equals record created successfully make sure you are returning a string of whichever string that you want to return and then on create on 
a second option which is if text equals one so it refers to the account create account and response make sure you have end account created respectively alternatively you can get this information from here by putting something like this eh? if you put dollar sign then uh, calibrasis and account uh, account double c you will get account account which is this value down here which is this value down here but since we don't have anything there let's just leave it as it is i'm going to save then come here and say firebase firebase deploy dash dash only functions enter this is a process that is going to take some time in some cases it can take up to one minute uh, depending on the speed of your internet uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post when it gets to the point where it's uploading which is at this point the moment I see node.js which is this I'm going to post the video and then come back after the uploading is complete the process went on successfully as you can see everything has been uploaded successfully deploy is complete the next thing we can do is to come to firestorm and as you can see we have one record starts with small o and ends with zero so our objective is to have another record here and this will achieve it by going to this i can close this so that you follow the process so if you go to africa stocking get our code that goes to our url which is ussd slash ussd uh, then going to launch the simulator i can put the number that's my number then let's launch it we are working with ussd and i'm going to paste the code here and then call and see whether we are going to get you see this menu is the menu we have created here as you can see we have this menu up to four so we are going to do one because we have done one here if one if else it takes equals one which is this account create record so we come here and say one so we want to create a record and we are going to send and wait for the response account created successfully if you go to, to our code you will find out this is the message account created successfully it means that it completed this and was able to come to here let's go to firestore database which is here as you can see we have an account before we had an account that had a document id that starts with o and that ended with zero we have another one that starts with nine and ending with a i want you to check here and you will see the account as is being created so i'm going to call and then put one here which is create account check what happens on the other side you can see the account has been created you can still do another one yes the code one send another account created as you can see our code is now working as expected so in the next video we are going to now update one of these records read them and finally delete some of them thank you for watching the video until the end let us catch up in the next video